always know that fans of media want Jason Garrett out, but the ownership loves Jason Garrett. They like to make excuses for Jason Garrett. They're friends, family friends with Jason Garrett. Could that actually change with the way that they have swooned in the last three weeks? It, it won't change with the way they've swooned in the last couple of weeks. Like, in other words, it's not like Garrett is going to be out tomorrow. Like, I don't foresee that situation at all where, you know, they lose a couple and then Garrett's out. Like, it's not going to be like that. But I do think there's a possibility he's not back next year. And remember, he didn't get a contract extension despite a lot of people, including me, expecting them to do it. It is a make-or-break year. Uh, it's either going to be a clean break in a new coach or it's going to be not. Uh, and so I think every, you know, while it's not judged on a week-to-week basis, they're going to keep getting asked about it but after every loss. But, you know, while it's not judged on a week-to-week basis, um, they are going to judge it at the end of the year. And, and, you know, at some point, I'm sure they will break from Jason Garrett. And obviously, if things keep going like this, um, then I think it's very possible. Well, when you say at some point they'll break from Jason Garrett, so you just don't assume that they're going to win enough to keep his job this year? I mean, I think they would have to win a lot. You know, it would have to be something where you say, all right, we have left no doubt that we are, you know, with this guy for the next five years. Like, that's – it would have to be substantial. It would have to be convincing and substantial. And, you know, based on what we've seen, like, look, the NFC East is tough. The Eagles are in the exact same position. Right. So it's not like they're alone in this. However, they have bigger aspirations and they have a good enough team where I think they should be better than three and three. I'll say that. So Jason Garrett's got the benefit of the doubt from ownership for a decade without winning a Super Bowl, without getting to a Super Bowl, without getting to an NFC championship game. What changed this year? Why the lack of patience this year for them? See, I don't think it's lack of patience. I just think at some point, you have to win. And, you know, the Cowboys went from a good high-priced team, you know, big star team with Tony Romo and DeMarco Murray and Des Bryant, um, Sean Lee as the focal point on defense. You know, that was, that was the team. Um, and then they transitioned to Dak and Zeke and Tyron Smith and DeMarcus Lawrence. All of that has happened under Jason Garrett's watch. And I mean, not that he runs personnel. I'm just saying he was the head coach as they transitioned from one team to a completely different team. They are at a point now under Will McClay and Stephen Jones, who've done a great job with personnel. They are at a point now where they should be good and they should be winning. I think that is what changed where you can't look at anything with this team and say they are not ready to win. That is why results have to come this year.